Welcome to Disc 1 of Dr. Sin, the Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. I'm Leonard Malton. This has been one of the most requested titles from the Disney Library for a number of years. And when you see how good it looks and sounds on this new DVD set, I hope you'll agree that it was worth waiting for. We wanted to bring you both versions of the story, so on this disc, you'll see it just as it aired on Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color beginning February 9, 1964, under the title The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh with Walt's introductions to each installment. But families sitting in front of their color TV consoles back then didn't get to see it as you will now. The picture was slightly cropped for the standard TV frame, but it was shot like a theatrical feature. So while Walt's intros will appear in the regular TV format of the time, the body of the show will appear wider in what's called a 166 ratio. You will actually see more of the image than anyone did in 1964. And here's an interesting twist. Our intrepid vault keepers discovered that even those introductions were originally filmed in the wider format, too. So if you're wondering what Walt Disney's office might have looked like on the big screen, we put those versions on the disc as well. If Walt were creating TV shows today, he'd be right in step with the widescreen television format. The people who restored the picture and sound for this DVD performed a labor of love, sparing no effort to make Dr. Sin look and sound as good as possible. The original negative was mastered in high definition. They returned to the original British magnetic sound masters and the original music track to remix those elements for 5.1 surround sound. The result is an outstanding wide dynamic range and a signal quality that audiophiles will certainly appreciate. They even restored the original monaural track for purists who want to hear it the way it sounded on television in the 60s. Great care was taken with the picture elements too. The restoration team paid careful attention to the night scenes, many of them first shot with filters during the daytime, and the original lighting scheme designed by that fine British cinematographer, Paul Beeson, who also shot such Disney productions as The Three Lives of Thomasina and Greyfriars Bobby. But of course, it isn't the technical aspect of this three-part show that people have cherished for more than 40 years. It's the storytelling. As you'll learn in a background piece featuring several Disney experts, the tale of Dr. Sin was told more than once on screen. But only producer Bill Anderson and his team knew how to give this material the Disney touch. I'll talk more about that on Disc 2, where you'll find the feature film version of Dr. Sin that played in theaters throughout the United Kingdom and elsewhere. And if you enjoy the story as much as I do, I think you'll find it interesting to compare the two versions.